Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another random letter break Bowman University Chrome Basketball. Random letter break number 27. 25, 26, 27 are from the same case. All card ship, a lot of great stuff. You know the drill by now. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And we got four extra spots we're giving away. So top four after 10 will get extra spots in this break. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We got Carl, Chris down to Nathan, or sorry, Carl, Carl, Chris, Nathan, Tristan, and Nathan. Sorry. Top four get extra spots. So we'll put those little rooftop symbols. Now we can randomize you some letters. Let's roll it, randomize it, four and a one, five times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, and five. You got Carl Chris, down to Carl Chris. And four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. We got M down to A. All right, so CKH with M, Tristan with B, Chris with WZR, Tristan S, Nathan D, Chris with J, Nathan with uh, Chris with J, Nathan with K, Travis with P, Nathan E and G, Peg right there, Nathan F and O, No, Tristan V T. Uh, Nathan C, Greg L H, and Carl Chris with A. Let's sort by letter. All right, I doubt there's going to be any trades. There traditionally aren't very many trades. I don't. We got the four boxes right here. I don't have to do any box randomizing or anything. The next four boxes are in the store, and uh, that'll be from a fresh case. So we are going to pause the video just for a second, and we'll see if there's any trades when we come back. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same for break 27 here on Wednesday the 14th. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Well, let's see what we got in here. Got a little uh, White Sox at Dodgers on in the background. We got a double uh, double Wednesday night baseball game. I guess now that now that uh, hockey and basketball is officially over, we can get some more more baseball. I'm happy with that. Hmm, nice play, Jake Berger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cubs were down 5 1. Now they're up 7 6. What happened? We got some games in the books. Blue Jays beat the Orioles 3 1. George Springer, apparently, a 437 foot homer at Cannon Yards. Not to be outdone, Ronald Acuna crushes a 461-foot home run. Could Ronald Acuna have a 40-40 season? I mean, that would lock him in as NL MVP, I would think. Braves beat the Tigers 6-5. That was the uh, game two of a doubleheader. They were making up a game. In extras, Giants beat the Cardinals 8-5. Giants scored three in the 10th to sweep the Cardinals. Gabe, what's going on? Gilo in the house. Brew Crew fell to the Twins. To beat the Brewers 4 2. Carlos Correa with a two run triple against the Brewers. In game one of the doubleheader, Braves all beat the Tigers 10 7. Michael Harris with a home run. Games in progress will go through after in the second box. 
Freddie Freeman gets dinged right in the side by Clevenger. It's going to leave a mark. What a season J.D. Martinez has been having. Batting third. He, is, he already has 16 homers this season. Got a orange shimmer, Race Thompson. 13 out of 25. Got our first Caitlin Clark. Going to letter C, that's for Nathan. Uh, Race Thompson will go to uh, Carl Chris and the letter R. This Cam Whitmore, letter C, Nathan. Uh, looks like a base loaded walk. And three singles in a row to score six total runs. Wow. And the leadoff walk never leads to anything good. Cam Whitmore, Purple Shimmer, which are not numbered. And Malik Renault is your second autograph. There's two per box. And that's going to go to Chris in the letter M. Look at that, Freddie Freeman with a stolen base. 102 out of 499. And we got a Jared Bynum, 55 out of 75. Yellow parallel going to Chris in the letter J. All right, box one in the books. Baseball games in progress. I think uh, going to the uh, bottom of the eighth, Yankees Mets tied at three. I think that's on ESPN one. I think my Dodgers are on ESPN two. Bottom of the fifth, Red Sox leading the Rockies one nothing. Going into the bottom of the eighth, Rangers leading the Angels four to one. Rex was mentioning his Cubs. Yeah, the top of the eighth. Cubs are leading 7-6. Bottom of the eighth, Reds are leading the Royals in Kansas City 4-3. Going to the bottom of the ninth, Nationals and Astros are tied at four. In just the third innings, Marlins are in Seattle. They're up 1-0 early. Phillies are up early on the Diamondbacks, 2-0 in the third. In the third, A's ahead of the Rays, 3-1. And then uh, the Padres are ahead of the Guardians, 2-0, bottom of the third. And uh, White Sox Dodgers scoreless in the first inning. Oh, yeah, we do. I, think, I don't know if we ever really completed that conversation, right? Yeah, who do you think benefits the most for a trade with Stroman? Uh, um, who do you benefits the most? Ideally, both teams will benefit. But I don't think there's going to be, you know, I mean, I don't think the Cubs would be trading for, like, current big leaguers, right, would be my, my thing if they're trading Stroman. They got to look at maybe, 
you know, they got to look at maybe uh, prospects, you know, and who's going to want Marcus Stroman? Probably contenders who need pitching. It's Kyle Ware to three ninety nine. Dodgers could certainly use some starting pitching. I mean, everyone can use starting pitching. So that's going to be an interesting one. I think I think, I think think uh, Cubs GM probably fielding a lot of phone calls right now. Giants? Gi- I mean, Giants are possible. Everyone's a possibility. There's Drew Timmy to 1 at 50. Nice. Stroman stated that he doesn't want to leave Chicago because of the atmosphere. He said he loves the field there. Well, yeah. I mean, what else What else did you expect him to say? The team that's paying me millions of dollars, this place sucks. Can't wait to be traded. There's J.J. Starling. Chris with the letter J. That's to 499. Yeah, wouldn't definitely wouldn't be the first to say something like that. I wouldn't really take too much on. And besides, it's I don't think it's really his his choice. You know, he doesn't have, unless he has no trade clause, I don't think he really has a choice to say where he can go or not go. But. I think it's. That's yeah. So do I think that any player who says this thing doesn't never means it? Yeah, I kind of do actually. <laughs> Especially while they're an active. I mean, now when they say it after their career is over, you know, maybe they can be a little more honest about where they enjoyed playing and not enjoyed playing. But. I think most of the time, every player is going to be, you know, generally pretty respectful to the team that's paying a million dollars and to the fans for spending a lot of money to go see that person play. Even if they hate it, I don't think they're ever going to say. They're always going to be very glowing about the team they, they play for. And why would you say anything bad about any city? Because you may be traded there someday. Or someone may be giving you big money in free agency someday. So you can't really, I think, trust anything a player says about that sort of stuff until their career is over. Or if a player takes the rare discount. If Strowman loves it so much, you know... Maybe he'll come back and and uh, take a discount for the Cubs if he loves it that much. But yeah, I don't think they ever mean it. It's just like it's just like the GMs who are who are like, yeah, we're gonna, you know, who know that they're not competitive. They're going to be like, we're going to be competitive this season. I mean, why would you say otherwise, right? Not that it matters. Stroman can say he loves playing in Chicago as much as he wants to, but if the GM is smart and realizes, hey, we can move this guy and get a ton of assets in return for a guy that can that could opt out at the end of the year, Absolutely. That's what you got. That's what you got to do. There's 
There's Chet Howard, purple mini diamonds at three ninety nine. Uh, I don't know. Very rarely, Rex. I don't think very many teams are like, hey, we'll trade you now and then get you back in the offseason. Has it happened before? Yes. Ooh, nice Drew Timmy autograph. Letter D, Nathan. I think he had a pretty good NCAA tournament. 99 out of 199. You know, and at the end of the day, it's it's all about it's all about money. There's Nick Smith Jr. to two ninety nine. I mean, Strowman could love that atmosphere as much as as much as he wants, but if the Cubs lowball him. You know, tries to tries to pay him or offer him something that's under his market value. Uh oh, it's a Jake Berger against Kershaw. I better have him my fantasy team. He's gonna hit homers off my off off my Dodgers. I do have him in the fantasy team. That takes the sting off a little bit. And we got a Jordan Hawkins from UConn. Chris with the letter J. Good roll. Does Chapman get traded and then go back? I guess he did. Did he get traded by the Yankees, went to the Cubs, and then went back to the Yankees? Was that what it was? All right, fourth and final box. So is Kershaw having a decent season? Well, he's eight and four with a 295 ERA with 93 strikeouts over just 76 innings and a 1.08 whip. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's more than decent. I would say he's going to get Cy Young votes. I don't think he's going to win Cy Young, but I think he's going to get Cy Young votes for sure. Kershaw doesn't mind giving up a solo run though, a solo home run. Not with the way the Dodgers' offense has been playing, been playing really well. Yeah, it is surprising. He's he's 35, turned 35 in March. History of lower back issues, so that can always rear its ugly head. So, but I was listening on MLB Network. They were saying that over the recent years, they've really worked on a lot of different... Obviously, his velocity is a lot lower. He's probably topping out at like 92 or 93 or something like that these days as opposed to the other his younger days when he's hitting like 96 97 on the gun now his four seam fastball 91 miles per hour so he's had to reinvent himself a little bit as a pitcher and um and i think it's been working i mean he's been struggling with injuries almost almost uh, every year now. But when he's healthy, he's just been pitching really well. You never know with those back injuries. Just like NIL now, saying, Chris, how do you mean? What's like, what's like the NIL now? Remember the purple shimmers are not numbered. And there's Armando Baycott. 
for Chris in the letter A. CKH in the chat. 424 out of 499. And there's Caitlin Clark, nice Invicta card here for Nathan in the letter C. You have the same back problem as Kershaw, lower back stuff. That's it's been really getting him sometimes. You're surprised he's pitching. I mean, maybe Gilo, if you were getting the medical care that professional athletes get, maybe you'd be out and about with more of a spring in your step. Yeah, the partially herniated disc. Kalel Ware to 399. And I mean, who knows like what kind of like painkiller injections he's getting and what kind of like physical therapy he's doing. Chiropractor, massage treatment, all that sort of stuff. There's Kiki Rice to 199 for the letter K. That's for Nathan. How'd you herniate your disc? That sounds like, sounds, sounds, sounds like a... Sounds not good. And there's Caleb Love, Nathan, and the letter C. And there's the rest. That was random letter break number 27. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next random letter break. Bye-bye.